What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 20 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. So this actually is a paper pencil copy of one of the technology enhanced questions you would take if you were taking this test on the iPad, where we have three different systems of equations. One of these has one solution, one of them has no solution, and the other one has infinitely many solutions. And we're supposed to match each system with the number of solutions. So what we'll need to know to do a problem like this is how to figure out the number of solutions that there can be, or that there are, in a system of equations. Now first let's go over what a solution is. A solution is actually some x and y pair that makes this equation true and this equation true at the same time. If you remember seeing these on a graph, you would see a graph, you'd see your first line and your second line, and then the solution would be the place where those two lines would intersect, so right there. Now that is a very rough sketch of something that probably is not even remotely close to these, um, but as an example of a solution, I actually went ahead and figured out the solution for this system. It's actually where x is 3 and y is 5. Now the reason this works is because if I plug 3 and 5 into x and y in the first equation, I get 2 times 3 plus 2 times 5 equals 16. This is 6, this is 10. So that's true. The, the ordered pair x of 3, y of 5 makes this work. And now for the other um, equation, 4x plus 3y equals 27. I'll get a darker marker for that and do it down here. This would end up being instead of 4 times x, 4 times 3. And instead of 3 times y, 3 times 5. And I'm going to see if that equals 27. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. It is true that 12 plus 15 equals 27. So that was just a quick um, excuse to demonstrate exactly how a solution to a system of equations works. Now there's going to be a magic edit while I erase all of this. And now let's actually talk about how we can tell when a system has one solution, no solution, or infinitely many solutions. If we look at our system and we see different x coefficients or different y coefficients from one equation to the next one, in this case we actually have both, 2x and 4x, 2y and 3y, I guess this should be and or, but either way, we see different x numbers or different y numbers, so that tells me that this system has one solution. So this system here has one solution. Now, for a system to have no solution, we need to know that our x numbers, x coefficients, and our y numbers, our y coefficients, are the same, but that we have different constants. And a constant is a number that hangs out by itself without a variable attached to it. So in the case over here, our x numbers are the same. Our x coefficients are both 2. Our y numbers or y coefficients are both 3. But now we have different constants. The numbers that are just hanging out by themselves are different, which means this system has no solution. There is no pair of x numbers and y numbers that I can plug into both these equations at the same time and get 12 out of one and 18 out of the other because they're the exact same on one side of the equal sign. So this leaves us with, and you can probably guess where I'm going with this, this is the answer for infinitely many solutions where we have all numbers are equal, and I don't mean like every number, but our x coefficients, our y coefficients, and our constants. And you might actually now be thinking while looking at this, wait, those aren't equal, but they do try to trick you a little bit because if I factor this out, and I pull a 2 out of it, 2 times 2x would give me 4x, 2 times 2y would give me 4y, and then 2 times 8 would give me 16. So I have 2x plus 2y equals 8, and then this thing all over again just multiplied by 2, and in case, and sorry, in terms of solutions, uh, very often, we can actually just get rid of a common factor here and we'll still end up with the same solutions that we could have, especially when it comes to a system or a quadratic. 
So in this case, we have equal x coefficients, equal y coefficients, and equal constants. So this system would have infinitely many solutions. And that was the whole point of this question, the whole idea here, just to match up what has one solution, no solution, and infinitely many solutions. It wasn't really multiple choice.